Well, what's going on everybody? Wacko Backo here. Today's opening is sponsored by JD Mint Collectibles. Now he's been my sponsor for a long time now and he provides me with all kinds of amazing things to do for these openings. And all the stuff you guys find here you can find on his website. The link will be in the description along with the discount code. Uh, so you guys saw by the thumbnail there's plenty of tins to go through. I don't want to waste too much time. We have a stackable tin. We have three of the Evolution tins. Um, let's just get right into it. There's going to be plenty of packs. What I'm going to do is um, I'm probably just going to rip the packs from these here, stack them all up, and then we'll go through it that way. Hopefully you guys have had a good week so far. Mine's been extremely busy um, between a bunch of you know Grady cards that I got in. I'm trying to get set up for sale. I've got a bunch of other awesome cards. If you guys didn't see yesterday's video, definitely go check that out. I got in a lot of really, really awesome stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's just kept me busy, which is always good. Um, but, uh, yeah, so if you guys do follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you should, it's, it's a good time. It's, I do a lot of recap stuff over there and then I do, uh, I post stuff for sale on there as well. So, um, but yeah, so it's going to be busy. There's going to be a lot of stuff, um, available for purchase and stuff. Uh, hopefully by the time that, I'm done with doing everything I need to do today. Um, we'll have everything ready to go for that, and I'll start posting on Instagram, and hopefully we can make some deals. Um, but uh, yeah, kept me very busy, but uh, I'm definitely glad I have plenty of stuff to open up. So, a lot of pack variety too, which is going to be nice. Obviously, some Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike, Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain. Um, Let's see, go here, do that. I'm trying to organize it based on when this stuff came out. Of course, we have one random vivid voltage, which hopefully would be nice to get a huge pull from that. And uh, yeah, just a lot of packs to go through. But I had all this stuff sitting off to the side and I didn't want to do a bunch of separate videos, especially because this is all tins. So I decided, you know what the hell, we'll just do it all in one. Um, yeah, it should be fun, and hopefully we can get some good pulls out of all this stuff. So here we go, the last little sort. There we go, Pikachu coin. Um, so I am working with um, uh, Mount Kilimanjaro. Uh, I always mess his name up or say it wrong. Sorry, dude. Um, for another uh, either like pack battle or some kind of joint giveaway, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, here we go. A lot of packs, a lot of variety. Without further ado, let's crack right into it. Um, but yeah, it should be fun. Uh, like I said, I think the, the last one went really well. We both had a good time. Both had some decent pulls. Obviously, I got beat, but uh, it's all right. There's always a road for redemption, as I'm about to sneeze. Um, but uh, yeah, we should be getting in. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> My goodness, that's terrible. No, we should be getting in our next monthly sponsor merch box here soon. So... Uh, nothing for the voltage, of course. Um, so hopefully there's some good stuff in there that both of us can kind of go through and do another pack battle on. Um, but also, speaking about new stuff coming in, uh, the brand new set, Lost Origins, not to be confused with the other set Pokemon Company just showed off, Silver Tempest. Uh, Lost Origins should be coming out on September 9th if you're in the U.S. Uh, I don't know where they're dropping in other locations at what time, but... Uh, yeah, I'll have that stuff hopefully on day one so we can do some awesome openings there. Caitlyn as the reverse and a Glade. All right, nothing crazy there. But uh, yeah, and then looking at Silver Tempest, it's probably going to come out sometime in November, um, which means that the brand new generation um, for, hold on, let my brain think for a second there, for Scarlet and Violet, that's what it's called, uh, probably won't start till like first quarter of 2023 sometime. So if I was to guess, I'm going to say late January or early February. Um, I could be completely wrong. I could be absolutely right. But who knows? Uh, we'll have to wait and see as it gets closer and like once the game actually releases. So, But yeah, a lot of stuff going on in the Pokemon community right now. We also have the Ultra Premium Collection Box for this year coming out. I think that's slated for October. Um, I was lucky enough to get one through a very, very awesome person. And uh, I still haven't decided if I want to open it when it comes in or just leave it, uh, just especially because of how uh, expensive the one from Celebrations is currently. 
and uh, I was never able to even get one of those. So uh, I might hold on to the first one I get. If I get a second one, of course, I'm going to open it, uh, especially for all the cards and all the cool stuff in there. But uh, I don't know, only time will tell. That's for future me to worry about. All right, let's see what we have here on to... Nope, still on Chilling Rain. Sorry, I'm just kind of rolling through this because uh, it's definitely a lot of packs. But let's see what we have here. Lapras as the reverse. Nice, there we go, of course. So if you guys saw, um, at the card show I went to up in Tampa, I literally just picked this card up. So now I have a duplicate. And now I have to figure out which one is in better shape or better centering. Um, I'm also looking into grading a bunch of cards now. Um, I think... Um, one of the companies that I was looking at has some pretty good deals for bulk rate right now. So, um, you know, maybe I'll get that graded. I don't know. Maybe I'll just try and trade it for another uh, gold card that I need. So if you have any gold cards up for grabs, uh, definitely let me know in the comments or hit me up on Instagram. Um, maybe I'll just straight up trade you for this one. But uh, definitely an awesome pull. They're a huge pull from the last pack of Chilling Rain. That absolutely amazing shiny electrode. That would be my luck. And that happens to me all the time where... I'll trade to get a card or I'll just flat out buy a card because I'm tired of waiting to pull it and then I'll go ahead and pull it. So, all right, uh, let's see. Evolving Skies, good amount of Evolving Skies. Let's see if I can finally pull that Dragonite alternate art. That would be absolutely amazing. If not, I'll take any of the uh, Evolutions or Rayquaza. Obviously, I'm not too picky. Sableye is the reverse and a Glaceon. All right, so there's one. Very, very nice start to Evolving Skies there. Let's see if we can keep it up. Uh, you guys let me know, um, with the Evolving Skies reprint, um, do you think the pulls are about the same as they were when they first came out? Do you think the price kind of is justified? I mean, I see people selling booster boxes for like 130, 140 bucks. Uh, again, I know it's a popular set, but I still think that's a bit much. You guys let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, maybe if, you know, you had a higher pull rate. Ooh, nice. There we go. Leafeon. Um. You know, or I, I don't know, because there's so many higher end cards in this set. Um, it's just, uh, I don't know, it's a lot to manage. So, I mean, you can get the regular set done and maybe, you know, start working on the full arts and stuff. But once you get to the secret rares and all the alt arts and stuff, it's extremely hard to pull those, uh, especially because they're crazy expensive. They don't want to just give them away. But uh, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. I, I, I'm not saying I don't like Evolving Skies or anything, but. Uh, I don't know. They they just recently reprinted, and I think all the stuff is still way too expensive. Eldegoss is the reverse, and behind that is a Gigalith. I thought we were going to pull another Evolution. That would have been sick. All right, last Evolving Skies. Dragonite's going to make his appearance here. We'll all be super happy. And then we'll move on to Fusion Strike. I hope it doesn't look like it's going to be that way with that code, but let's roll through it anyway. Uh, remember, guys, if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you are subscribed, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, just make sure you guys turn on notifications so you guys know when I post content. All right, Rahan as the reverse and a Gigalith again. All right. But again, not too bad. I mean, a gold card and two ultra rare so far. Let's see if we can get anything from these few fusion strikes and then we get into all the brilliant stars, uh, which I would love to pull anything from either one of these. Um, I, I don't know. I like Fusion Strike a lot. I'm at like 90% done with the set. Uh, I just need some of the alternate arts and the secret rares, but uh, uh, Brilliant Stars I'm definitely a fan of. It's been a great set so far. All right. Mag Cargo as the reverse and an Arcanine. <laughs> I feel like I'm finally uh, feeling a little bit better if anyone out there cares or keeps up with any of that stuff. Um, you know, that I had this terrible cough for the longest time and then I just felt like absolute garbage. Uh, I am feeling a little bit better. Um, just been trying to just take care of myself, eat a little bit better, and then just get out when I can and, you know, just help out around the house, do some yard work, that kind of stuff to kind of get me out in the sun for a little bit. Or go swim in the pool, because that's always nice, right? Sizzlepeed is the reverse, and an Excel Gore. All right, so nothing from Fusion Strike. But we have all of these brilliant stars. Hopefully we can get some hits out of these here. Um, but before we do that, before I forget, Another stack of codes for you. Best of luck to whoever is getting those. All right, off to the side. Get those out of the way. A whole bunch of trash on the floor. But here we go. Get this open here. Slide off that code or flip it around one way or the other. You guys are getting a code. Four to the front with that V-Star token. Move that up here. 
All right, let's see what we can get here. Weavile, Dusk Lobs, Morgrim, Farfetch'd, Hurtwig, Trap Inch, Ex Execute. Uh, then we have Grimer, we have Halucha as the reverse, and an Electivire, right? Nothing crazy there. Move this out of the way, move this over here. Okay, another Fusion Strike, <laughs> so wasn't paying attention. All right, back to Fusion Strike, maybe this is the Redemption Pack here. For Fusion Strike, doesn't look like it's gonna be, but here we go anyway. Another four to the front, flip it on over, and here we go. Skaters Park, Sand Slash, Meowth on the Trail, Muna, Shelmet, Plusle, Skarmory. We have Zarude as the reverse, and an Absol. All right, nothing too crazy, but <coughs> excuse me, some decent artwork there. Okay, the rest of this brain stars, I promise. Let's take a look and see what we got. As these packs just shred open, makes it nice and easy. All right. Slide that off there. Another code for you. I see something peeking out there. Oh, nope, it's just that. Of course it would be. Another V-Star token. Get out of the way. All right, let's see what we have in this one here. Burmy, Sock, and Cherubi. We have Riolu, Starly. Probo Pass is the reverse. And, okay, nice. Even more Peko V. I will gladly take that. That's not bad. Very, very nice. It's so funny that I called that card so many months ago. Maybe even, I don't know, a year ago at this point. Maybe two. As soon as I saw more Peko and I knew that there was a like evil version of it, I wanted it so bad, and uh, we finally got one. Because <coughs> now all we need is an alternate art of the evil more Peko. I think that'd be sick, right? All right, let's see what we have here: Ultra Ball, Purloin, Duskull, Sneasel, Corefish, Magmar with that awesome artwork there. We have Cherubi as the reverse, and a Lapras non-hollow. All right, let's see if we can get anything. Come on want just one big hit. I mean, obviously, I can't complain. We pulled a gold very early on, a bunch of ultra rares, but wouldn't it be nice to get like an alternate art or finally see, you know, a higher end um, Charizard. All right, here we go. We have Starmie, Weevil, Dusclops, Grimer, Shinx, Badoof, Electabuzz, Halucha. Nice, there we go. Orin Guru as the trainer gallery card and a Haxorus. All right, not bad, not bad. I'll gladly take that. <coughs> okay, here we go. Last pack. Save Charizard for last, of course. I really do appreciate all the support, guys. When I checked last, we were right at 670 subscribers. That's huge. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Like I mentioned previously, and of course, now I'm going to cough because I've been talking a whole bunch. Um, like I mentioned previously, as soon as we hit 700 subscribers, I have a really awesome opening plan. So, if you aren't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button. Go tell your friends to come check us out and let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, I have a really awesome opening. It's something that I haven't opened up on the channel yet, and it's definitely a, uh, a fan favorite set. So I'm super excited to crack into it. Pot Helmet is the reverse, and to end us off, is a Moltres Hollow. But you know what? I'll take it. That's not bad. Um, be again, JD, thank you for sending all this stuff over. I think we did really well. I mean, a bunch of Ultra Rares, obviously the Gold Card, Trainer Gallery, and even a Hollow. Um, so yeah, not too bad. I'll gladly take that. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm Wacko Backo. Take it easy.